What's going on, Legion? Azrael here, like always. And we got some Andromeda stuff. This came out, I believe, two days ago. This was the PSX thing. Uh, I believe I've already seen this or something. I've seen one of... I think this is the only one I got left. I've seen this, so we're just kind of recapping, rechecking it out. Um, I really haven't talked about it at all with anybody, so I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of things to say about it. So let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. I mean, the game already looks incredible, right? I've played Mass Effect 1 and 2. Mass Effect Andromeda is the next generation of action RPG. Cutscene movie, the third yeah. one. No way this is home. Brand new epic sci-fi adventure set in a sick. vast, explorable galaxy. You are the Pathfinder, part explorer, part soldier, part guide. And it's your mission to find a new home for humanity. So, I love everybody that I was watching. I was watching all a bunch of Twitch streamers rebroadcast this, and they're like, "Eat your heart out, No Andromeda, Man's Sky. Eat scary. a dick." I was Those laughing my ass off. Are outright uninhabitable. Every planet has its own story. On this one, warring outlaw factions fight over every available scrap. I wonder how big the planets are going to be. The choice is yours. Are we going to? Are we just going to get? Got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. All I see is the trail of bodies they left behind. Are we going to get zones of a planet or a Sam, whole planet? Tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Yeah. That character's going to be fun to deal with. What brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Ven Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Just point me to where you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. There won't be. Drop it Get wrecked. Now. You first. Get out. Or I'll put you down. These worlds are big. So the hell yeah, dude. Driving? Oh my god. There are many paths to follow on this planet. Kind of reminded me of like everything at your disposal. Halo in this world right here. It's a six-wheel drive nomad, which protects you from hazards and enemies. Just a little bit of the environment. Scanning really. and analysis tools to help you interpret everything you discover. Sweet, we can RP as Batman. Anything that might lead us to the killer. Yeah. The tracks make it look like an ambush. Fits the Rokar profile. It's a start. Dude, this game is gonna be so fun. Matches your Rokar theory, Reyes. Keep scanning. We need hard evidence. In a dangerous alien galaxy, desperate Dude, driving's resources. gonna be fun. Conflict is inevitable. I wish we would have seen him but jump. You have access to futuristic weapons, gear, and powers to help you in your fight. Right, here's the fight know. scene. Dude, this warping ability is pretty sick. The combat looks a lot better from the other ones. Maybe not a whole bunch, but it does look updated. I think. Nice. What is this? Final Fantasy 15? Jesus. Warp attack. Oh damn. What up? What up, bro? Fucking mechs. Evangelion! Oh god. Alien robots. Let's go. Okay, what are you doing? That was a great scene. And after 10 minutes with God mode on, they finally destroyed it. Though you start out with the ship and the nomad, almost everything else you need, you'll have to find, steal, or craft yourself. That's pretty sick. Crafting, building, stealing. It's gonna be cool, man. And that's critical to your survival. These worlds have many dangers, from environmental hazards to it's hostile like a, wildlife. It's an RPG that you can build and stuff. That's pretty sick. Hopefully you can build. Or awesome crafting. That's a big ass fucking monster. Oh shit. Rod, Rod, you just don't dash into him, idiot. And that, that monster looks so badass. And eh, fucking wrecked. Ooh, little shields. That's cool. Alright. Lightning power. Is it Star Wars? It says KOTOR. Chain lightning. Oh, it's bad. That's really sick. Alright. Environmental interactability with killing people. That's nice. It's music right now. 
Does that music remind anybody of like Terminator? And dead. A new galaxy awaits. How far will you go? That wah, that music really reminded me of Terminator. That was pretty good. All right, man. I, I didn't have. I want to. I didn't want to talk a whole bunch to the clip, but and we've seen it before. Um, excuse me. I, it was good, man. The game looks really fun. It did kind of. I said this in a different thing. It does kind of remind me of like Kotor, Knights of Republic, where you could like warp to somebody. You know, you could do chain lightning. You could, you know, have a grenade or something like that, and you bring people to you. You know, it, it was just. I, I don't know, but it, so much more than just those games. You, you know, of course, technology and different things, but it is a space alien, and whether or not it's technology of the Force, you have abilities uh, and or weapons or, or equipment that emulates that stuff. So it very much does remind me of the Star Wars games, but in no way do I think it's even inspired or related to that style of game. Uh, Mass Effect is its own thing, and it looks like it's going to be really fun, just really awesome to play. Um... I want to check it out, man. It looks awesome. I, I don't know if this is going to be an open-world-like RPG. Like, for me, and I know a lot of people say this, but Skyrim, Oblivion, uh, Elder Scrolls in general is what I consider to be the best RPG. It's open-world. Now, you don't get you don't get a whole lot of crafting and stuff like that. You don't make bandages. You don't, you know, survive necessarily. You can have that on. Uh, the survival part, drinking, eating, sleeping. But it allows you to just kind of go out and do whatever you want. You have a huge chunk of a planet, you know, continent, and you just go around whatever you can make armor. They, You know, in Skyrim, they very much took away a lot of that stuff. They took away the, you know, the, the, the life of your weapon, life of your armor, so you have to rebuild it, but you can craft armor, um, and you can craft your weapons. They took away the, the weapons part, but they left you with the armor. And I'm wondering... Because I, I like crafting things. I like that, you know, if they have, like, something like Elder Scrolls meets, like, the creation, you know, of, like, Rust, where you can create shit around you and, and things and weapons, that would be, like, an overall, I think, good RPG with that kind of crafting system and something like it. In Skyrim, that would be really awesome. So I'm wondering if Mass Effect has a real crafting system. Are you going to be making stim pa med packs, whatever they are, in Mass Effect? Are you going to be... Upgrading your, your your Omni, is it Omni? Is that what it is? Your tool, can you, on the fly, are you going to be able to, like, build a, a vehicle or something like that? Um, build a base, even. I thought we saw maybe something with the base. I know it was a drop pod. Um, there's another game coming out. I think it's the um, the Osiris one where you can build. See, the Osiris, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a, it's like Elite Dangerous and the other uh, Star Citizen, but it's, like, better than both of them. And... It's like you can just do everything that you can do with those ones, but you can get out, build bases, do stuff. And I don't know. There's a lot of these games, whether it's the Osiris, Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, Mass Effect, you know, this the the overall basis of El Elder Scrolls game, um, Star, or Star Citizen, um, No Man's Sky. All of these games are like, in my opinion, a fraction of a system that I want to see taking taken and put into one system to make the overall RPG crafting survival game, single player or not, uh, space exploration and make it awesome. I don't really want, everything really seems like a, a fragment of a better system that hasn't been built yet. So I can't wait for that time. So I don't know what Mass Effect uh, Andromeda has in store for us. I don't know what it's going to be about. Uh, I don't know what the crafting or stealing because I remember in, in, in like the Elder Scrolls, you can literally crouch and then just steal something. Mass Effect 1 and 2 and 3 was very much like kind of like a beaten path. Um, there wasn't like extra stuff. There wasn't like junk in the world for you to take. It was just very much story-based, mission-based. Not a whole lot of exploration. It was very much zone to zone. So are we going to get a huge planet? Or are we going to get zones of planets? You know, is it going to do like what Halo did? And give us these huge, incredibly gorgeous looking like foliage, foliage, and like cities and stuff, but make them really big. Because Halo did that pretty well. They made their environment very fun to just watch. It was big enough to explore, but not an open world. So I think Halo has always done that really well. They've made their wilderness, their environments 
top notch. I think Halo has some of the best environments, specifically for an FPS campaign. Yeah, when it's meant to be a multiplayer, they have incredible, you know, sceneries like that. And it, you don't always feel closed off all the time. So is Mass Effect going to do that? Give us these huge, just, um, I'm trying to think of that, uh, atrium-based, you know, things? Or is it going to be, like, super, like, open world with the uh, uh, continents, cities? Or is it going to be the planet? I don't know. But with that, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any idea. I have done no research. Uh, this is just the first time look. So if you got any information, let me know in the comments down below. Love to see you here in the comments. Um... Yeah, if you like the video, you like the content, you can always like, subscribe, or share. Remember, it's completed too. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. I do appreciate it. At the very least, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking out the video, giving it a like, or just a view at the very least. I appreciate it. We are at 2,200 subscribers strong. Thank you for that. And uh, once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.